Hey everyone, it's Kyle with Prolux, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the latches on a Prolux CTX. Okay, so tool wise, you're going to need a mallet or a hammer, and then a, um, a pick if you have one. If not, like a really small flathead screwdriver should do the trick. Um, you're going to need your Prolux CTX canister and replacement latches. All right, so we're gonna work on removing the brass pin holding the latch to the body mount. Um, if you have like a jig, you can put the CTX in to hold it still, it'll make this job much easier. If not, you can still get it done. So you're gonna get your pick and you're going to put it right up against that brass pin and then you're gonna take your hammer and mallet and smack it out. So you got it right up against it, give it a couple whacks. You see it's coming through. And then from here you can usually just grab it. Or you can just wiggle it out. So, this one is bent. So, if it's bent like that, you can just smack that sucker out. And there it is. Um, a big thing to take note is look at how the spring inside the latch is positioned as this is going to make it much easier when you install your new latches. So now that we got both sides removed, we're gonna reinstall some new latches and springs. All right, so here's the tricky part. Um, the hardest part is making sure you get everything aligned and then uh, you slide that brass pin in. So the CTX is upside down, so bear with me here. So when you go to mount it, this bigger piece needs to be up and this uh, smaller piece is going to be going down. And with the latch or the latch spring, you wanna make sure that it's facing the smaller part, so this part right here. So just kinda get it lined up with these holes inside the latch. This part is super tedious and it can get frustrating real fast. And it doesn't help that these pins are bent, but we'll work with what we have. All right, so everything should be good in here. So now I'm going to whack this pin all the way through and hopefully it goes through the other side. If not, we gotta do this all over again. Let's see if a flathead works better here. So the flathead actually worked better than the pick. The spring is in the right position. Okay. 
So that's how it's done. Alright, that's going to be it for uh, today's video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys need any extra assistance, email us at service at prolixcleaners.com and we'll get you taken care of. Like I said, if you need replacement latches, latch springs, or the pins, let us know and we will get you replacement parts. I'm Kyle Prolux. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.